looks deceivingly warm out today. It is not that warm. My hands are freezing. Here they come to eat some cake. It'll be like a little cooking show, but not like everything mise en place. Like everything's not gonna be in its place because that's just not me. <laughs> I'm pretty haphazard. I'm headed out to kick cows this morning. Mr. FFB's already out there putting out hay. And before I load the cake truck, I'm gonna let the puppies out so they can get the zoomies out before we get them to pick up. Hi, buddies. Oh, hello. Don't jump on me. Hey, get off. Good boys. Deceivingly warm out today. It is not that warm. My hands are freezing. Yeah, good boy. Oh, come here. Hold on. Come on. Okay, I'll get you. Load up. He is already caking the, or not caking. He's not caking. I have the cake. He's haying the cows. It kind of looks like he's already put out all the hay. I know some of you have been very interested to see up close how that hay feeder works. And I was going to try and get that done for you in this video, but I missed it. I got, I was too late. I took too long getting out here. And I'm just trying to, there's a lot of areas, oh, there goes my microphone, and there's a lot of areas in this pasture that um, are kind of sandy, and it's a little bit rough, so I'm just trying to get down here and not, like, drive off a cliff. Here they come to eat some cake! Is that good? Oh, scared her a little. What do you think, puppies? some cake I'll go get you some hang on
like that? <laughs> you got kind of a fuzzy head. Oh, you got a sticker. Oh, up close and personal. your sticker out in my seat, they'll end up in my hiney. So he loads six bales, no, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he could fit six bales on there, but he only had five on this time. Unless he fed one before I started filming. Entirely possible. But he can load six bales on the back of the hay feeder, and then he get, grabs two in the bucket, um, and then they go up into that area, the processing area, and there's beaters in there that spin the bale around and the uh, net wrap comes off on the beaters and stays inside the feeder and then it processes the bale and shoots it out in a windrow like we're gonna see here in a second. That hay is a little bit dusty. Hi guys. Cleaning. Yeah, you should try it sometime. It's invigorating. So some of you have asked it, uh, where the net wrap goes when we feed hay on the with the feeder, and it stays right there, and then we uh, get it out of there later. <laughs> But he's just cleaning off all the hay so that the feeder sets back down like it's supposed to. All done caking. Got a long, bumpy ride back to the house. So we're going to do a little thing I'm going to call kick truck confessions. Even though I don't know if kick confession is really the right word. But we're going to roll with it. First, I got a microphone for my phone, so when I'm recording, it won't, in the wind, it won't be all <sighs> anymore. 
because I know how annoying that is to listen to that. Um, secondly, I wanted to explain a little bit about how we decide where we're going to feed cake and where we're going to feed hay. So since the sand hills are literally a 20,000 square mile expanse of sand dunes, we're really prone to erosion here. So when we, speci specifically when we feed hay, we like to feed it in uh, areas that are a little bit sandy or even more prone to erosion so that we can get uh, hay, the hay and the cow poop after the cows come trample it down in and eat it and poop on it. That's, we call that litter and litter is just a not fancy term for organic matter and organic matter is a fancy term for fertilizer and so it helps improve the soil health and plant diversity in those areas and helps heal those areas that are prone to erosion. And then when we cake, we try to choose a location that has a lot of standing litter, which standing litter is just a not fancy or fancy, however you want to look at it, term for uh, vegetation that is standing at, like during the dormant season, like the cows didn't eat it during the growing season, it's still standing now while the grass is dormant. And that's where we like to cake because the cows, again, trample that standing litter down into the sand and improve the soil health and plant diversity there. So that's why we do that. In totally unrelated to feeding cows news, I think, I'm going to start doing a FFB cooking show here on YouTube. I bought a light. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but I also blog. And on my blog, I do a lot of recipes. And so what I'm going to do, hopefully soon, is start with my most popular recipes. And when I cook them for supper, I'm just gonna record it and it'll be like, a little cooking show but not like everything mise en place like everything's not gonna be in its place because that's just not me <laughs> I'm pretty haphazard so as I was driving back to the house or as I'm driving back to the house I happened to see this tank and I thought I would stop and video it it this tank appeared in one of last week's videos where we were putting up the cribbing, I learned the right term. Well, actually, Mr. FFB told me before, but I couldn't remember it while I was recording, so yeah. But some of you have asked or mentioned about tank heaters or how we keep the tanks open and not frozen, and we do not have tank heaters. Um, there is not electricity to our tanks. So I just wanted to show you because today is a really good example of how this works because the real feel is like, it was like negative two when I left the house and it's, I don't know, there's no degrees in this pickup. But it's cold out today, like frost is falling out of the air. It's not snowing because there's no clouds but it's cold. The point is, it's cold. And this tank is open, it, there's, there's open water. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you how this all looks and works and all of that. We rely heavily on moving water to keep our tanks open. So the windmill, as you can see, is pumping over there and that water is open. And then we have the solar water pump that's pumping water here and like I say, we strategically do things a lot and it's because there's a lot of strategery that goes into what we do. I don't even know if that's a real word, but the point is we're strategic about how we do things, like everything on the ranch. So when we set up um, water pump, or like the solar pumps, we make sure that the hose is kind of uh, at an angle so that when it pumps, it pushes the water and the water moves and you can see how far out the water is open. And even out here, like if there, there's no cows in this pasture, they're coming here next, but out here it kind of looks frozen, but it's like slushy. 
So if a cow were to come get a drink and put her nose in here, she'd be able to get a drink. It would just be like a icy or a slushy from the 7-Eleven. <laughs> uh, if I don't crack you guys up, at least I'm cracking myself up. So